Basketball, you betcha I'm back. It's the Daily Trainer. Happy to give you what you need to succeed, guaranteed, every day for the game that you love to play. I'm ready. Are you ready? Well, let's go. Okay, so getting into it like we always do, you already know we're going to go right into our layup series. Okay, with that layup series, remember you got your regular layup, you got your jump stop layup, and you have your inside hand layup. Okay, then after you do that, you have a reverse layup with the inside hand, and then you have a reverse layup with the outside hand. Okay, when you are driving on this layup, somebody asked me a question the other day. Do you go across the key or do you go kind of under the basket? You're going to go under the basket because what you're working on is somebody bumping you off your line and you're taking that extra dribble and using the rim to protect yourself so that you can make that layup. It's usually used when that bigger player is a little bit stronger than you and it's kind of forcing you out. Not out of bounds, but just out of your area to be at a good angle to finish the layup. Okay, so we're gonna do that on both sides and same concept applies for the left hand. Okay, also what we're gonna do today, we're going to come across the key. So now you're going to take one dribble and then on the second dribble, you're coming across. So you're gonna tuck it, okay? You're going to pick it up over, okay? And then you're going to also swipe under. Now, whatever you're able to do, some people can do all three, some people can only do one. Why not give it a try? Biggest thing you're gonna run into is pounding it and moving your feet at the same time. So when you have that trouble, don't worry about it because I can break it down for you in a little bit simpler terms. So you just let me know if I need to break it down. I got you covered, all right? Remember, the layup series, we're only going through two times each. That way we get a good feel and then we get a, a good warm up to get ready to do what we're doing every day. Okay, then we're gonna hit that baseline. All right, we're gonna do some stationary dribbling. Again, I want you to do our pound dribbles. I want you to work our pound cross. I want you to work our regular crossover. I want you to work our double cross. I want you to work our cross cross through the legs. I want you to work through the legs cross. And then I also want you to work through the legs behind the back. So we're gonna work all of those today, okay? We're gonna do that three times each for 30 seconds. So you're gonna do each one for 30 seconds. Then what I would like for you to do is, I'd like you to go to the free throw line. That free throw line is going to give you five and you're going to make five, all right? So at the free throw line, please convert these free throws because as much as all these other things are important, it's important to make a wide open shot when no one's guarding you. And the free throw line is the best place to do that. Moving along perfectly in the drill, we are gonna go through the cone drills, okay? So now we're gonna dribble through our cone drills, okay? You're going to do all those same moves, okay? Your in and out crossovers, your through the leg crossover, your through the legs behind the back. I even want to see behind the back cross. And you also do your cross cross through. You don't need to do pound dribbles through the cones. But that's pretty much the only one. And then you'll do your simple crossover as well. And then I want you to also go through the cones where you're alternating each move. So you'll do the crossover, you'll go through the legs, then you'll go behind the back. Okay. So those are important things that I want you to focus on when going through the cones. Go through quick, chop your feet, stay low the entire time. One thing that I'm seeing a lot of people do when they do cone drills is in between each cone, they wanna raise up. There's no reason to raise up if you're not going to shoot or really pass the ball. So in that sense, you wanna stay low the entire time of the drill. This is going to help train you stay low when you are penetrating and trying to attack the defense when someone is actually guarding you, okay? There's a variation of drills that we have to show you to keep you down, right? Because when nobody's guarding you, everybody wants to stand straight up and definitely be this basketball player who never gets guarded. So you have to have that sense of urgency that someone's guarding you all the time. All right, now, after we do that, I want to work our dribbling and finishing. So we're going to attack from the side, roughly the wing, and we're gonna go into our crossover, our through the legs, our behind the back, with our counter at the elbow. That counter at the elbow, you're gonna make your leg, okay? So you have your crossover, you have through the legs, you got behind the back. I want you to go three each, okay, three each. And then 
what you're going to do is you're going to do the wave drill okay the wave drill is another attacking drill but you're going to wave to get your defender to move their feet so we're teaching ourselves how to stay low in the wave and then attack off a of lateral movement so you're going laterally then attacking vertically okay so how are we going to do that how are we going to switch our feet ladder drills are great but remember we had that ball in our hands so now what are we going to do okay and i want you to continue to do this over and over again so that you can do what's comfortable for you and then that timing of your dribble that timing of your hang and that timing of your explosiveness is on point okay so that's what we are going for on those drills remember you're going to do it on both sides you're going to wave to each gap three different times and attack all right then i want you to go to the free throw line and make five free throws then i want to tap into form shooting real quick before we get into our shooting drills remember you're just going to work your footwork and you're going to shoot and make shots uh, you got your right to left and you got your left to right. Remember, stay square, sit down and under that basketball so that you get that good lift on it and finish at a good high point. OK, then we're going to go into star drill. We're going to go mid range on the star drill first. Then we're going to go perimeter next. OK, I want you to go two times through. Please make the free throw each time or it doesn't count. So you might be going more than two times if you can't make your free throws. All right. Remember, those are five spots. The five spots are the right baseline, then the left uh, elbow, then the right elbow, then the uh, left baseline, and then at the top where the free throw line is. And then for the three point line, it's the corner three, the left wing, the right wing, the uh, left corner three, and then the top of the key. All right. So good luck in the star drill. Then I want us to shoot dribble three pull-ups, okay? With those dribble three pull-ups, please, please, please put intensity behind it so you can work on your footwork and your momentum going forward. That is such a key component in whether you make or miss shots. So I need you to remember that. And then lastly, I wanna shoot threes around the world, okay? So we're gonna go shoot, get the rebound, take one step, shoot, get the rebound, take one step. That's gonna be key in our success of making shots, all right? So you're only gonna go around once, you're not gonna go back around, all right? Great job in that. And then it's time. Yes, that's right. Extra work, okay? Are you willing to put in the extra work? So let's see, what are we going to do today for extra work? Well, we're for sure running, okay? And with this run, we're going to do a 17. Okay, so 17s with that ball in your left hand or your right hand, depending on your weak hand for dribbling. Then we're going to do our defensive slide drill where we are going to sprint up, slide over, back pedal back, close out and deny, stop the back door, then defensive slide and then get out of there. Okay, we're going to do that three times each. Then we're going to do our X drill where we close out we slide across then we slide back across the key and then we sprint up okay all these are defensive drills and then our last drill that's always everyone's favorite the goal is going to be 23 now and we're going to go key to key slides this one burns the quads out and it's just it's a tough drill but i want you to push through it i want you to go as hard as you can okay so that's our extra work are you willing to do the extra work Okay, if it was easy, everyone would do it, right? Okay, then I want you to go to the free throw line. After the extra work, I want you to shoot 10 free throws. I need you to make 70% of your free throws, okay? The goal is to get up to 90 by the end of the summer, but 70% will work for now. Basketball you, that is my time. I appreciate you guys coming each and every day to play the game that you love. It's The Daily Trainer. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And feel free to ask me any questions in the comments. I will get back to you as soon as I can, or as soon as I see it, actually. And then we can always talk basketball down there. So it doesn't always have to be about training. It can just be about anything, especially what I think about the NBA Finals. And I think the Heat are going to win. But you didn't hear that from me. And remember, someone's always working. Are you?